Hello, Earth Signs. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. You must sage the cards for my earth gods. Yes, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see what's going down for the motherfucking weekend. You guys, I'm going to start out with uh, Capricorn, and then I'm going to go to Taurus, and then Virgo, my lovely Virgos. Let's see what's popping, you guys. Here we go, Capricorns. We're going to get some advice cards. Here we go. We got lead and sacral chakra. All right, so there is something with confidence you're going to have to lead with. Or just overall, Capricorn, I'm definitely seeing that there's something from your from your insides, from your inside out that you were born with. You're going to have to take some leadership abilities. There could be some things that you might be changing up in your world or taking a look at back in the past as well, too. But I'm getting that for some of you guys. There's definitely some sexual energy here that you're going to have to release yourself from. Okay. Uh-oh. So we have well-deserved rewards <laughs> and dedicated effort, Capricorn. So there could be something some of you guys need to change up. Some of y'all need to get some vibes with other people. Some of y'all could be in a lot of daydreams, okay? A lot of decisions. I did just see that card, but I do feel like you're also awaiting some results or you could be awaiting some love, simply love here. All right, so let's see. What the romance angels have to say for my Capricorns for the weekend. Here we go. Capricorn for the weekend. We got pay attention to the red flags. Uh-oh. The signs are cautioning your motherfucking ass. Capricorn. We also got, this could be the one you've already met. The romantic partner that your ass seeks, Capricorn. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. So, Capricorn, I'm seeing there's something coming together. Some of y'all might be having to pay attention to those red flags, come to an understanding as far as, you know, what you need to do with your exes, people that you're dealing with now, okay? Understanding those red flags. Some of y'all could be dealing with a wedding as well, too. This situation is calling for... It involves a marriage and also could be some chemistry here. There's a strong magnetic attraction. Uh-oh, baby, talk to me. Somebody has... Some sort of strong feelings, like I said earlier in the cards, darling. Here we go. Let's see what Tarot has to say. For my motherfucking Capricorns. Here we go. Let's see. The first card off top. For my Capricorns. We got the Empress energy here. We also have the Nine of Cups. You ready? We also have the Nine of Cups, the Empress energy here. I'm getting that for some of you guys. There's definitely some new beginnings that's coming in for you. This could be a love situation, a love offer. All right, like I said earlier before, thank you. Um, you could have been dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or this definitely could be you, but I see that there's some sort of grounding or some action that you guys are gonna be getting to. This could be a wedding or a marriage or dealing with someone older as well or someone wiser with this Emperor energy. All right, but I'm also getting that with the Four of Wands, you're dealing with a based uh, stability or also with your finances, you could be uh, wanting things to come in for you a, a bit better. All right, but I feel like you're going to be trying to control your empire 
I feel like if you are having to pay attention to those red flags, it could be someone trying to control what's going on in your household, okay? Could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with this King of Sword energy here. And I'm also getting with the moon, there could be some secrecy or some changes that are definitely coming underway or, you know, staying underneath the surface, especially about Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also, Ace of Cups here with the Ace of Pentacles. So there's two different Aces as well. I'm seeing a lot of new beginnings coming in for you guys, but I also feel like um, some of you guys feel like there's some sort of secret or some secrecy that's around. Okay, so I feel like there could be... Um, some changes that are happening very, very soon. You're going to have to make some sort of decision, especially loving yourself first or respecting yourself is what I'm getting here. I'm also feeling like for some of you guys, uh, there could be some emotions that you're getting ready to try to walk away from or someone is definitely leading themselves to walk away and do some other things is what I'm seeing here for the weekend. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the star energy, which is Aquarius. So you could be dealing with an Aquarian energy, but I also feel like this is you coming into a lot of your hopes and renewals and inspiration, okay? So for some of you guys, you could be building up some third-party situations or there could be some friendships that you're building up. Uh, but it does definitely look like you're coming into a lot of inspiration and a lot of love, all right? So let's see what's popping for my lovely Taurus. Here we go. For Taurus. For the weekends. Here we go. We have finding balance. So there is some sort of balance that you're getting ready to come into. You got joy and stability here. Ooh, ooh I love it. So there's definitely some sort of change that's happening with finding your joy and stability. I also feel like for some of you guys, there's some things that's getting ready to transpire underneath the surface. But I feel like this is you utilizing a lot of your independence, a lot of your crown chakra with blossoming. I feel like some of you guys are healing away from a situation that's blossoming and transpiring into something uh, a little bit more healthier, okay? Um, so this could be you just having to pick and choose your battles, but wanting that stability and staying focused when it comes down to things blossoming. Some of you guys could have some really wonderful ideas that are popping off this weekend, so utilize that time. Okay, Taurus, here we go. Let's see. Uh, what the romance angels have to say for the weekend for my Taurus. Romance angels. Here we go. We got children. Your love life is being affected by children. So in some sort of way, some of y'all might be dealing with children. You might have clients that are children, whatever the case may be. It doesn't even fucking matter. Okay, I do feel like some of you guys might be thinking that there's not enough chemistry or enough balance to keep yourself in this relationship. But it's time to definitely express yourself is what I'm getting here. And also some sort of wedding as well, too. Some of y'all could be dealing with marriages or a situation that involves a divorce or a marriage. Okay, some of y'all could be healing away from family issues this weekend as things are, you know, transpiring. You're definitely understanding and coming into a new understanding of yourself. It's saying a new person has stirred your romantic feelings as well. So there could be someone new coming aboard, Taurus, okay? Or there is some new love that's being required in your situation. So let's see what's popping for Tarot for the weekend. I'm seeing the King of Swords. Some of y'all can be dealing with a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, this could be in their sun, moon, arising, your sun, moon, arising, whatever the case may be. But I do feel like uh, there's somebody who's, you know, bringing on a lot of genius energy with that crown chakra. And with I just what I just seen was the King of Swords. Okay, so far we have here the Six of Wands, King of Cups. All right. I'm also getting that um, for some of you guys, there's definitely... Um, Somebody who's trying to win, all right? Or in their emotions, they're trying to gather themselves together. I feel like um, there could be somebody who wants to have some sort of offering or some sort of gift coming towards you. I'm getting that for uh, with the five of cups energy here. Um, there's definitely somebody who's um, trying not to like get the, get their emotion, let their emotions get the best of them. Okay. Um, Will of Fortune. Here, also Six of Cups. Can you close the door, please? Uh, Wheel of Fortune, also Six of Cups. Um, I, I'm getting that for some of you guys. There's definitely some changes that's happening. 
Um, but I do feel like someone from the past is either wanting to build with you or there could be somebody who's trying to make things work in balance. All right. Just be aware of somebody who's trying to let go of a lot of the dramas and behaviors in Jerry Springer role. Because it, be, it could be uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but I got two of cup energy here. So Cancer, Pexy, Scorpio. I feel like there's somebody who's trying to build up love energy, Taurus, but I feel like um, for some of you guys, you're kind of just on your own path with this page of pentacles. Um, for some of you guys, it looks to me like someone is trying to um, like have some sort of success here or there's some accolades or something that somebody is coming in with a victory, all right? A win. That's what I'm getting here. Try not to let your emotions get the best of you, okay? So, bottom of the deck is the lover's energy. You could be dealing with Gemini. I also seen a lot of Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also getting the devil energy here as well. So possible Capricorn. Uh, for some of you guys, there is a relationship that somebody is definitely obsessed with or connecting to that they're holding on. All right. You got the Ten of Cups here as well. So definitely a family setting. You, uh, I feel like for some of you guys, there's some real um, emotional happiness coming in. All right. Just overall what you think a family setting should be like. So. Let's see what the advice cards are for my Virgos. Here we go. For my Virgos. For the weekend. All right, so far we have here win or lose, choose your battles. So some of y'all might be feeling like you're up against, you know, your back is up against the wall. I'm getting that um, for some of you guys, there could be multiple people um, that you feel you're having to like face or confront, all right? Uh, it's saying to spread your wings. Yeah, oh, look, we got confronted at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, um, it's saying to spread your wings as well. Um, so some of y'all might want some freedom, Virgos. You could be having to put in some effort even though you might want freedom, but I'm getting that you're gonna have a well-deserved reward as well too. Now, for some of you guys, it's saying that there's love coming in and you're needing to release some things from the past first and observe. All right, but definitely releasing um, some negative energy and bringing in some positive shit. Otherwise, you're gonna keep the negative. All right, so simply love, well deserved reward, Virgo. Let's see what the uh, romance angels have to say for the weekend. Here we go, Virgos, for the weekend. All right, Decepticon, someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. Uh-oh. So somebody's truth is getting ready to fall the fuck out. There could be some progressive learning, and also um, there could be some forgiving and learning that you're having to heal from with this deception. Thank you. Uh, I'm also getting for some of you guys... Um, what this flirt is saying to extend your lighthearted energy to others, Virgo. So somebody definitely needs to get out there and flirt. There could be some uh, red flags that you're having to pay attention to as well. As you are getting to know and flirt with this per person and playfulness, there could be some boundaries that you're having to accept and respect for the weekend, okay? But I'm definitely getting um, that some of you guys have chemistry coming in. All right, so let's see what's popping with what Tarot has to say, Virgos chemistry but also paying attention to the realness and reality all right here we go virgos let's see the first card off top for you all right two of sword energy here so this is making a decision this could be about a relationship this could be about a partnership here i'm getting with uh the five of pentacles the two of swords uh there could be some definite um Somebody who's definitely playing around with, uh, you know, trying to come into their power with a relationship or bringing together a unionship. But I'm getting that somebody is definitely um, kind of being disturbed here or somebody is definitely all up in their motherfucking head about what they doing to you or what you doing to them. Okay, I am getting with the strength energy. This is possible Leo, but I feel like you're kind of in this defeat. Like you just really don't want to deal with that shit because you got the queen of bitches in reverse okay but i also feel like with the chariot energy you could be dealing with that cancetian energy that's been following you for quite some years now virgo all right um somebody could be having some issues with their health or you just taking care of them with their uh, with the nine of swords for some of you guys but i'm feeling like you're m having this multi-balance okay but some of you guys have a lot of um 
new beginnings coming in or you just have a lot of fears and limitations surrounded by your new beginning okay because this is definitely some success here this could be finances okay or a new job a new opportunity that someone has to offer you with this ace of pentacles you have the ten of pentacles here and the ten of cups as well so i'm definitely getting there is a new situation that is awry and you guys uh need to prepare for that shit whether it's financially emotionally there's definitely something happening and transpiring this weekend that you're going to be very that you're, that you're going to be very very uh secure too okay all right my loves I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal reading for me, hit that description box down below. I love you guys all so much. Make sure you check out my four questions for $25. I will see you guys in the next video. This dog just scared me, so I'm going to get on out of here. Bye.